Sea Wonky Project, Comic Book Guide to Plastic. Comics by Sarah Steedlin, written by Sarah Steedlin and Katie Culver. Hi there, is this what you want when you to see when you go to the beach? Plastic bottles, plastic bags, and even flip-flops. Turtles and other animals can get stuck in all the plastic waste on the beach and in the water. So who are the sea monkeys? Hello again, my name is Sid the Squid. My family and I live on a sailboat called Sea Monkey. We've sailed all the way from Australia and over the years of sailing across the ocean, we've seen lots of cool and not so cool things like tons of plastic stuff floating in the water. We've seen so much plastic in the water that we've started the Sea Monkey Project. The idea is to build recycling machines, stop plastic flowing into the ocean, and create plastic education cartoons. You see, not so long ago, our environment wasn't spoiled by plastic waste. Around the time when your grandparents were young, we didn't have plastic bags in the supermarket, only paper bags. There were no plastic in our rivers or clogging our drains, no plastic grab food, and no plastic in our parks or on our walkways. Not that long ago, you could make up a sandcastle without plastic, the turtles could lay their eggs on a beach without plastic, if you are a turtle, time to lay my eggs, go fishing in a river without plastic, eat fish food without plastic if you are a fish, go swimming without plastic, the snack on a jellyfish instead of a plastic bag if you are a turtle. But now, turtles struggle to find a clear patch of sand to lay their eggs. When you're building sandcastles, it isn't fun because they're filled with plastic. Swimming in plastic soup is also no fun, and turtles and other marine life think plastic is food. So let's look at what we where plastic happened. The history of plastic. Let's go back in time to when plastic was first invented. No, way too far back in time. What's plastic? Can I eat it? 150 mils ago. So 150 years ago, inventor John Weasley Hyatt invented plastic in 1869. Mr. Hyatt was inspired to invent this new material so humans wouldn't kill so many elephants to make things like billiard balls out of their ivory tusks. Yippee! For the first time, humans didn't have to rely on natural materials. This man-made material got its name plastic because the word means something that can be molded into any shape. So not all plastic is bad. We can use lots of different types of plastic for different things. Here's some examples. The good and the bad on plastic. Is plastic good or bad? Let's go to the city to find out. We will start at the supermarket. Next time you go to a supermarket, have a look around. You will see that most of the food is wrapped in plastic. And a lot of the food doesn't need to be packaged, like these bananas. Everywhere you go, you will notice that plastic is all around us. To the hospital or to the toy shop, you will also find plastic. The good. What are some good things we make with plastic? We've used plastic inside of spacecraft and airplanes. We use it in our plastic and our technology. We make toys and furniture, medical equipment, building materials, playground equipment, and transportation. So we've gotten lots of good things from plastic. The problem is a lot of the plastic can be recycled, but a lot of it can't. And also it doesn't go in the recycling bin and then it goes into the sea. People are throwing away so much plastic these days that it's become a big problem in most countries around the world. So we're going to try and look around our house and our daily life and see if there's things that we can use without plastic. Where does all the plastic go? So problem is that there's lots of the plastic ends up in the ocean and in the streams. And this is a problem for the ants, for, for the animals and the plants. So for example, all the plastic water bottles, we're trying to use less of those. Plastic bags in the supermarkets, we're trying to use less of those. I'm sure there's examples, but the food problem is that plastic breaks up into tiny pieces and then the fish eat those pieces and then humans eat fish. And this causes a problem that we're eating plastic because the fish are eating the plastic. This would be an, a way to remember that. What happens? You put a plastic bag in the water, then who eats the plastic bottles? The fish. And who eats the fish? We do, we catch the fish and then we eat them. Now, another problem is we can try and pick up rubbish on the floor if we see it. We can make sure that we use a recycling bin instead of a trash bin. 
we can say no plastic please i have my cloth bag no straw please i have a different kind of straw that we can wash no plastic bottle i have my reusable one so these are ideas now look you can draw a picture of this if you want and this is a funny picture if you'd like this is what I would like us to try and do, protect our ocean. Can you draw me a picture of your favorite sea creature? You can use this paper, but also any paper you have in your house. What's your favorite sea creature? Draw me a picture and write the name. Great work, everybody.